Hello again. In this video, we're going to explain some of the ways to manipulate the VCM scanner uh, charts area of the screen. Uh, this will help you to visually uh, tune your car. You'll be able to set colors, limits, add channels, add grouping of channels. Uh, just make the whole process easier, easier from a visual perspective when you're reviewing your log. So we're going to go ahead and start the VCM scanner. And I'm going to start this, I'm going to turn the ignition on on this car so we can connect to it. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to this car. Now, I have uh, generally have stored off uh, channels configurations. So once we're connected, I'm going to go ahead and open one of my pre-saved channels. Uh, we covered this in a previous video, saving off uh, channel configs. But this would be adding my channels over here and the spacing that I like to see in my channels. You can do the same thing with uh, your charts layout, which we're going to cover today. But for me, I like to use um, pre-saved layouts. So now my screen is a basis for the way I like to see things. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording so we can have some information to manipulate. Okay, so we've got some data. I'm going to go ahead and fire this car up. As you can see now we're recording information. Um, see our RPMs changing, uh, throttle position. I'm going to go ahead and tap the throttle. throttle info there. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. I'm going to go and hit the stop recording button and I'm going to save this log file off. I'm going to call it this right here. I've already saved this file once. I'm just going to write over it. Yes. And I'm disconnecting from the car. Okay. So now you notice that channel information has disappeared, but the moment you ch touch an area in the charts, the channel information for that particular area will show up. This is only in a saved log file situation. So we are now reviewing a log file that we have saved off. As you can see, we're going to focus on this charts versus time area for right now. Uh, we have five groups of information. If you, you can add or delete these groups, I'm going to give a demonstration right now. We'll just reduce this. There's just looks too cluttered to me, maybe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open charts layout. I'm going to select that group. As you can see, these groups correspond to the groups of information. This particular one has our fuel trims and Richmond and uh, cooler pump or cooler temp. Uh, so this is just information I don't want to see right now. So I'm going to go to the top of the screen. These, these are the icons uh, for adding or removing groups, and these two are for adding or removing channels. So right now we want to remove this entire group. Group five is going away. Okay, so now we're down to four groups. Probably a little easier to see. Close this out. Uh, not as cluttered as five or six groups. Uh, you can narrow this down to one group if you would like. But this is pretty good uh, layout for me. Uh, same with uh, the number of items in a group or number of channels in a group. Four is probably the limit to uh, be able to easily uh, see between the different graph lines when you're looking at a data log. So in this particular case, maybe we want to change the color of the RPM line. We don't like red. Red might be hard for you to see. So we're going to go ahead and you can click anywhere in the charts area, hit charts layout. We're going to click on RPM because this is the channel we want to change. We're going to go down to plot color. So right now it's red. I think I want to change it to yellow. You can actually change it to any color in, in this range as you would like, but pretty simple to just go ahead and pick yellow, click OK, close this up. And so now the RPM line is yellow, uh, a lot easier to see. Uh, same thing can be done for any of these channels being recorded in these groups. Uh, for example, here's another one. We have the two wide bands, uh, the left and right hand side wide band. They're both white. You can't really see the difference here. So I'm going to take one of these wide bands, uh, which is, happens to be in the third group, go down to group three, there's the second wide band, uh, it has a plot color of white, I'm going to change this one, I'm going to make this one red, uh, actually no, we already have short term knock that's set to red in there, so I'm going to make this one light blue, hopefully that's enough of a distinction in color that we can see the difference, okay, well, 
since they are so close, there's very little difference here. You can see the slight dip in the left wide band here. Uh, and so you can see the difference. But in any event, that's how you would change that particular color. Uh, another thing that is sometimes difficult is RPM. Uh, the default range, I believe, is 7,000 RPM, the limit for it. And it's not unusual for me to take one of these cars up to 73, 7,400 RPM. So if it does, what happens is after it hits 7,000, the line disappears and you can't really see it in the graph. And you really want to be able to see the, the entire line when you're looking at a data log, especially RPM. So what you would do, again, right, right mouse button, charts layout. I'm going to click on RPM. <coughs> now, here's where the limit is. Right now it is set at 7,000. I would set it at 8,000 or 7,500 or whatever you want it to be. But in this case, this will capture everything up to 7,000 and it will stay within the areas of this graph and make it easier for me to see. So, um, I'm also going to cover adding a channel or changing a channel. Air mass, for example. This is a key item. It could be called cylinder air mass, air charge. Uh, the, the timing tables, uh, a lot of times the fueling tables are based on air mass and not pressure ratio. So we need to, this. We need information here. So I'm going to right mouse click again. Hit charts layout. I'm going to click on air mass. Now, this is the same way you would add a new channel to a group or modify an existing one, which we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cylinder air mass because obviously it's not picking it up. Um, I can see right here it is called air charge and not air mass. So one thing whenever you're adding a channel, there's a ton of information that you appears that you can add, but you can actually only add information to a grouping that is recorded in the channels. So the way you limit information that you have to choose from is to select this gear up here with the green check mark and it allows you to show only the parameters that you've logged in the channels file. So you click on this and now we have a much smaller subset of information and these are the actual channels that we can choose. So I'm going after air charge so I believe that's under general and it is. So you go to engine, general, and then you see air charge. So this is something I am recording so I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now it's going to throw air charge here in here and it's actually going to be recording it in grams per second and or grams per cylinder and um, Unfortunately, it did not change the label name, so I'm going to go ahead and change that now, air charge. And in this particular case, the line is white. White should work because there's no other whites in that particular grouping. Um, I'm going to set, there's no max, so I'm going to set this to, I believe this is, yeah, this is in grams, so I'm going to just set that to two grams and close this off. And as you can see, it's blank right now. But again, just like when we're, we first opened this log and we had not touched the, the, any of the charts, as soon as we touch on the charts, value will appear. So there we go. So it's a 0.25 at idle. Uh, you can see the air charge climbs a little bit when we give it some throttle. But uh, now we can record and see air charge. So the same process would be as if you wanted to add another group. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly add the group. I'm just not going to, in this in nature of saving time, not going to configure it fully with channels. Um, so we go down to here to the last group, and I'm going to say add a group. Uh, so now we've added a blank group, but there's no channels. And then you would go through the process of adding channels. I'm going to go ahead and add one channel. Uh, again, I want to only choose from parameters that we have been recording. Uh, I'll go to engine, general, and engine colon temp. So this sometimes you'll get this screen that will ask you, do you want to use uh, a default parameter uh, for a generic sensor? I generally choose no. I, I know what I'm doing. But sometimes if you're doing a lot of similar cars, it will save this off and pick the correct sensor. Like, for example, air mass versus air charge. But in this particular case, I'm going to say no. I know what I'm doing. And I have got my, air, my engine coolant saved off. Click it. Uh, in this case... Why it hasn't shown? Because I haven't moved the cursor. Boom. There we go. As soon as I click in the chart field, we have engine coin. So um, hopefully this gives you a good idea how to configure charts versus time. And if you have any other questions or suggestions on videos, uh, put, it, put it in the remarks section of this or send me an email. Talk to you later.